I just came in from a dark night. It's almost midnight here, late at night. And I couldn't help but think about the relationship between the Indian and the topic of Mashiach in a late, dark night. We all go through in our lives many challenges, many dark nights, many times that we think that things are not going to be okay. Things are going to... Who knows when it's going to get better? And we look for a bright, shining star in the dark night to be our guiding light, something that will bring us hope, bring us the ability to believe that things will get better. Whether it's a Rebbe, a parent, close friend, somebody who is going to help us get through that time. A person, it might even not be a person, it might be a mitzvah, it might be a thing, it could be anything. That is, in a lot of ways, the concept of how Mashiach serves for Klai Yisrael the Gullus. We are in the longest dark night ever. 2,000 years of dark night. 2,000 years of darkness. And the clinging to hope of Mashiach is what has allowed us to survive pogroms, to survive the Holocaust, to survive all those terrible things. Because we know that one day Mashiach will come. The Afalpi Even though I have to wait, because when you know it's coming, when you have that Amuna Shalema, and you know that it's gonna happen, there's no doubt in your mind, then Afalpi Im with all of this, the every day I can be excited and waiting for him with the Simcha de Baywa. That is what Mashiach is about for Klai Yisrael. That's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the great gift of Mashiach. Hashem could have just said, listen, one day, Beis HaMesh is going to appear. One day, the whole thing's going to be over. It didn't have to be a symbol. It didn't have to be a person who was assigned with this job. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu did it for a reason. It gave us something to cling to, something to have hope for. And as long as we have that, we know that one day we'll come out of this Belus, and one day we'll be able to be Sir B'Yaz Gelb, Sir Peri, and